wind. That's a great idea, Sol. We could all go somewhere windy. <gasps> Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? There's Neptune. That's windy. Going to Neptune would give Lifter time to decorate her room in peace. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold, one of the ice giant planets. So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? <laughs> Neptune is a big blue planet farthest from the sun and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. These are all the planets. The sun is here. If we could remember whether Neptune is close to the sun or far away from the sun, then we'd know which way to go. Is Neptune close to the sun? or far away from the sun. Far away! This one is Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. It's out that way, Dad. Update installed. Now, to get to Neptune. We know, farthest from the sun. Well, it would have sounded better coming from a supercomputer. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Neptune is beautiful! There we go! Whoa! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> We've landed in a windy part of Neptune. And brr, it's so cold. Brr, cold! I'd really rather stay behind, you know. The trip out will do you good, Gil. <laughs> do you feel it, Sol? The wind is even stronger than Lifter's breath. Wind! <laughs> <laughs> what we need is a kite. And it just so happens... A kite! Watch this, everyone! <laughs> no, don't watch that. That wasn't it. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. Look. <gasps> Stabilizing shoes. Here it goes. <laughs> wow, it's flying. Look, so kite. Keep going, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's getting windier! Scanning. Analysis indicates that conditions are very windy. Can you be more specific, Gil? Um, yes. Breezy, blustery, one might say. Hmm. Westerly wind approaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. Is that a lot? Yes, that makes Neptune the windiest planet in the solar system. The windiest planet in the solar system? Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. Cosmo! Cosmo! Planet Cosmo! Mission Control needs us to look for water. 
Found it! On planet Mars. <sighs> I'll fit Gil with this device. It senses water nearby. Travel to Mars and search for water. Let's find out about Mars. The observatory, please. Patching you through now. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Mars, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This one here is called Mars. Mars is a red planet. Mars is a little smaller than planet Earth, where everyone watching today lives. Mars has two very little moons, like rocks, circling around it. So remember, Mars is a red planet. It's small with two little moons. Could you please help me remember that? Mars is a red planet. It's small with two little moons. Thanks. Cosmo out. Should I wear my new spacesuit? Why not? Oh. But don't get it all mucky. Oh, don't worry. I'll look just as yellowy fantastic when we get back. And I'll look the same as I always do. Oh, well. Let's find water on Mars. We can see moons. Does Mars have no moon? One moon? Or two moons? Two moons! That's right! Mars is a red planet. It's small with two little moons. Let's go, Dad. <laughs> So rocky and red. I love red. Activating moisture sensors. Scanning for water. Oh, oh, I found water. Just over there. Oh, false alarm. Only Dad. <laughs> Sorry, I was thirsty. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Scanning. It's okay, it's okay. Look, it's just dust. I'd better be more careful. I don't want to get my new suit messy. Scanning. Any water, Gil? Not yet. I bet there's water out there somewhere. <laughs> it's getting colder and windy. Dust storm approaching. A dust storm? Will we be okay? You will. I, on the other hand, am a supercomputer. I should be plugged into a wall somewhere, somewhere warm, where I'd work out complex problems. Not meant for traipsing around Mars. Ever get sand in your undies? It's not pleasant, I tell you. This Martian dust will play havoc with my circuits. And before long... Are you listening? Hello? Is anyone there? I can't quite see. My sunshine yellow suit! It's covered in red dust! Oh, Mum won't like that! I'm red too! Look! I'm a different colour! I love being red! This is amazing! Gil, you're red too! Really? You all look the same to me. We are the same! Red, red and red! And there's red, red everywhere! There's red all over Mars! Not really missing anything then, am I? Oh, I'm the same colour as everything else now. That's not as much fun. I can't even see my star. I like my star. Actually, I like all of me. I think I want to be back the way I was. You can have a bath when we get home. But where are we? We got all spun around in the dust storm. I don't know which way is back. Water. I'm sensing water. There's water on Mars. I found it. This is astounding. I may actually complete a mission successfully. <laughs> water. Water. I found water. Water. It's water. It's... Um... Dad's glass of water. We made it back. Well done, Gil. Well, actually, I thought I had found... Fantastic work, Gil. Well, I am a supercomputer. <laughs> Cosmo! Cosmo! Planet Cosmo! 
Today, I need you to go to Jupiter. Wow! Which planet is Jupiter? The really big one. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out about Jupiter. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Jupiter, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This huge gas planet is called Jupiter. Jupiter is orange and brown with stripes. Jupiter has this huge red spot here. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system, biggest by far. So remember, Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Could you please help me remember that? Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. Thanks. Cosmo out. Look, we can see three planets through the asteroids, but we can only see little bits of them. Which of these belongs to Jupiter? Some stripy rings, a swirly blue bit, or a big red spot? Which is planet Jupiter? The big red spot, yes. Jupiter is an orange and brown stripy planet with a big red spot. And it's the biggest planet in the solar system. It's a storm, isn't it? We're right in the big red spot. And it is a storm. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends about Jupiter. Its big red spot is a giant storm. <laughs> Noisy tomato. Too scary, can't move, too scary. But Dad, you're not scared of anything. You're right. I'm big and strong, aren't I? Nothing scares me. Ah! Ah, too scary. <laughs> we have to get back inside, Dad. Quick. <laughs> I'm scared, Cosmo. It's okay. We're inside now. No, I'm scared of what your mum will do if we don't do as she asked and drop this into the atmosphere. Oh, you'll just have to go back outside then. I can't. It's too scary. Can you do it? It's scary for me too. Hmm. Tomato? Oh, Saul is too little. I'm the only one with the most amazing muscles ever. The only one who can lift this shiny machine. The only one who can complete this mission. Gil, take me back up. Have a nice day. Nice? Have you seen it up there? Nice! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Cosmo, can you hear me? Yep, uh, loud and clear. I have to push this machine all the way to the edge of the ship. I've got the muscles, but this'll take courage, backbone, guts. Cosmo, that's where I need you. I need you to stop me being scared while I do this. How can I do that? I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. I'll find a way to stop you being scared, Dad. I know. Stories make Dad happy. That's what will take his mind off being scared. We'll tell him a story. Dad, we're on our way. What's the best way to start a story? Let's see. Once upon a... Hmm. Once upon a... What comes next? Tomato! <laughs> no, that's not right. Once upon a... Time! That's it! Once upon a time, there was a... Tomato! <laughs> OK, a tomato. One day, the little tomato had a very important mission. Was he a brave tomato, Cosmo? He was very brave, just like Dad. Push! He had big muscles and he loved to knit. Push! And this tomato went on a journey to Jupiter. Push! Where he got a bit scared. Oh. 
Oh. Too windy! I'm not going to make it! But even though he was scared, the Tamasha was brave and kept going. <gasps> Push! Because even the oh. bravest Tamashas oh. get scared sometimes. Almost there! <gasps> <laughs> and the little Tommaso completed a very difficult mission all by himself. Not by himself, with his fantastic children who he loved very much. And that is the end of the story. Now let's all think up a story to tell Mum so that she won't know I was scared. <laughs> it's okay to be scared sometimes, Dad. You're right. Besides, I was only a little scared. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Silly storm! Noisy tomato! <laughs> <laughs> Begin launch sequence. There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter! Jupiter! Jupiter's big red spot is actually a huge storm. There is a giant planet. It is the biggest one of all. Jupiter, Jupiter. It's a giant gas ball. Wiz, the home of ABCs, 1s through 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find Kids TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs>